video from a viewer that they sent us. The same tornado at the Amazon warehouse. You can see right there how powerful it was to collapse the warehouse. We do have live team coverage this morning from Edwardsville to Defiance, but first we're going to go to Ryan Henson, where hours ago we learned more details of that deadly roof collapse at the warehouse. Ryan, what can you tell us this morning? Well, it's still very much a search and rescue mission. They do have people accounted for, whether they be sadly deceased or safe at home with loved ones right now, but there's still a lot of people who they are still searching for right now. Here's a look at some of the efforts going on right now, and heavy machinery has been going into the over there where the work is taking place all morning long as they continue to dig through the rubble. You see the roof ripped off right there. You see that wall that's no longer there as you can obviously see into the building. They said that was about the length of a football field. So a lot of debris still very much lies that we need to get to to save. So as we take a closer look at some of the things going on here, we know about 30 people have been safely reunited with family. At least one person been severely injured. They had to be flown overnight to St. Louis area hospital. You know, at least two people have been found deceased. That's the bad news. And hopefully those are the only two according to first responders. And this is happening at the Edwardsville plant. And we were talking with the worker here. They say that it actually not too much too many packages are inside of here. This is more of a place where they load up the trucks and they can be taken off to the various neighborhoods throughout the St. Louis area. Police say it's actually a little bit hard to track everybody because obviously some people have been rescued. Other people left on their own volition. So they guesstimate roughly 50 people were in the building at the time, but they're still trying to confirm those details. Obviously, as this effort continues, damage concentrated on the southern part of the building where, obviously, where that wreckage was going on. The wall is missing. That roof was ripped off. A lot of debris. Utilities have actually been cut off inside to just uh, help first responders be able to better dig and reduce one hazard out of there. Here's a soundbite from some area leaders. As I said, I'm just keeping everybody in, in, in my prayers. So you know, it's um, we're concerned for everyone. So just say prayers. You know. Right now, I'm, we're looking at it as a weather-related event. Uh, I'm not going to speculate that, that anybody did anything wrong. If you're looking to be reunited with loved ones, here's an important phone number to call. Area code 618-656-2131. That's the Edwardsville Police Department. They're asking loved ones, call them. They're trying to create a quick database of people that have been accounted for and those who still haven't been accounted for. Here's their phone number one more time, 618-656-2131. And Governor J.B. Pritzker has already reached out to the mayor of Edwardsville, already offering state support. And you heard the mayor right there just saying thoughts and prayers to everyone involved, especially those who still have questions remain. All right. Thanks, Ryan. I'm sure a lot of prayer is going to be going out tonight. Take a look. This is actually some video from inside that facility back in 2017 when it opened. You can see just how tall the walls are there with so much equipment, so much going on. We're told that this facility is about 700,000 square feet and most of the damage was sustained on the south side of that building. Over in St. Charles, at least one person was killed, others trapped when homes were hit with severe weather. Five on your side's Alex Fees continues our coverage in defiance this morning. Well, Sarah, good morning. Uh, as you know, there is a confirmation of at least one fatality here as a result of the storm system that moved through here last night. There are also at least three people who are injured and transported to the hospital. Now we're going to give you a live look at some of the damage here. There's a home back on the hillside here, a beautiful home that appears to be a two or three story home with significant damage on the hillside back there. My photographer Kira is going to zoom in on that and give us a live look. This is a result of the storm system that moved through this area here. You can see now sweeping to the south uh, at this intersection, Highway 94 and F, there is significant damage here. Many homes are damaged. Trees have been sheared off. Um, we know that many of the residents here have stepped outside and in the light of day are beginning to survey 
how much damage they have here. Utility crews have arrived and begun what is uh, bound to be the very complicated task of untangling all this and restoring some power for these people. Again, light of day shows the extent of some of the damage here in St. Charles County. We'll show you some video that we have queued up regarding damage at another location now. This is the damage left behind of a roof collapse at a, at a home on Red Barn Lane. This also happened about 7.50 last night. Now we spoke with the homeowner's sister who said they received the alerts about 15 minutes before the storm hit. Down the cellar, they deprived themselves out, but otherwise, you know, they have a daughter down there, a dog, they got everybody down to their safe. So if, it wasn't, if they would have stayed inside the house, they probably wouldn't be with us right now. That was Jesse Dingledine talking about the damage from last night's storm. About an hour later, another home on F had the roof blown off. Again, we're told one person died here in this vicinity last night from tornado damage, and at least three people were transported to the hospitals. Law enforcement is on the scene here. Again, this is uh, near the intersection of highways 94 and F. A St. Charles County police officer told me this morning that onlookers are not welcome. In fact, he encourages people to stay away. Um, they are having a bit of a traffic jam here at this intersection with people who um, are trying to survey the extent of the damage. Live this morning in St. Charles County, Alex Fees, five on your side. All right, thank you, Alex. We're also hearing from some people in the neighborhood that at least one of the homes hit with some new construction. A family just scheduled to move in maybe next week. Some horses also in that area. We're going to continue to look on that. Now, a reminder that you can always stay on top of severe warrant storms by downloading our five on your side app. It is free in your app store.